all the guidebooks we'd heard about said that the whole area was rubbish and you know there was nothing to be done here and and I'd done a couple of routes in the big cliff in the early 90s and I came back down and we wandered in along here and we just found so much rock and as we climbed on it you know we came back I've come back a couple of days every year for the last four or five years and you know the more you climb here the more you get used to it and the more you it's a bit like climbing in the mountains I every time I do a new line all I do is see more new lines to do you know you just realize that other things are possible as well all the routes I've done down here I've basically done ground up on site because what I've come down looking for is uh, an adventure and a bit of a kind of trip into the unknown and see both what the climbing turned out to be and how well I could respond to it or how effectively I could respond to it. We were trying to get to the last hanging erect inside the abyss and we tried it once before and the swell was running so high that we couldn't get into the abyss at all. We wound up climbing this, the outside of the erect. And so today was a perfect chance to get back into it and see if we could gain a set of what looked like just little tips, broken tips cracks up a hanging wall. And the, the opening which is shared with another route, of course uh, here there'd be monsters, went really well and you can get, you can get a really good runner high in that. And I was relying on that to uh, make me brave enough to sort of take off across this blank traverse and hope to reach these cracks. And so I stuck in so much gear there that it was going to be harder work to get it out than to, and run away than to keep going. And that enabled me to sort of head across and we sort of, the traverse ran, we, at first we tried the line, I tried the line that I'd anticipated across some face features, but the part way across that I saw really good gear. So I reversed and traversed lower to get this gear on the erect. I'm very glad I did because then it was really physical climbing up the erect. So I managed to slap my way up there, which was kind of embarrassing. There's a great bit of squealing like a frightened Boy Scout involved in there in the middle. And um, Woolamai has this reputation as really loose and dreadful and all the rest of it. And I, mostly that's not true. I have a great time down here and the, generally the rock's pretty good and the pro's pretty good. But I do always warn people that you want to climb in control and grab hold, test holds before you grab them and try and pull them into line. So it's a little bit embarrassing to have kind of been hurtling around and lurching around in the erect, sort of looking at holds and yelling, be a hold, while, <laughs> while slapping, slapping at it at the limit of control. But so the route was you know, terrific and we got across, but when we got to the, when I got to the erect, all those little finger cracks that we'd been hoping would be there, they were all fused. So I kind of leant back out, and everything was fused, there was no potential for gear. There were some face holds, so someone with a bit more courage and strength could still make the moves on edges probably, but it would be a pretty committing run out while you're quite pumped. And I, you know, I don't, didn't have enough in me for that. And so thankfully I was able to swing, swing around the corner on a jug in less than graceful form. And that led to a route that we climbed here the last time we tried to get into the abyss, uh, which is terrific fun climbing. So it was kind of, not, not entirely what we wanted, but I got sort of exactly what I wanted. So I just love it because you really remember the routes that you do here. And you do need to pick and choose and exercise a bit of care, um, but that's not unreasonable. Uh, I've still felt safe on virtually all the routes that I've done down here. And that's the thing that you're most, uh, most looking for, I think, in an enjoyable day out. And the, the moves are fun, the setting is awesome. And it's been a real privilege to kind of have the adventure of not knowing what it would be like, and you know, which is why I love climbing new routes. To imagine that it might work and then see if you can kid yourself that it does.